guys. Real quick lesson today. Uh, I'm running out the door. I got about literally 10 minutes before I got to be up the street uh, to meet a, a guy for a guitar immersion experience. Um, I think this guy is an airline pilot uh, today, but I've been doing a ton of these. Uh, please check those out. Total blast. I got to say, um, the, the channel is growing rapidly. Man, I'm looking at hitting 80,000 subscribers here coming soon. I don't talk about that very much, but it is exciting and it's nice to have a goal. Uh, so an influx of new subscribers lately. So thanks so much. Just be nice. If you're not nice, I'll, I'll remove you from the, the comment section uh, and you won't be able to comment anymore. Not that a whole lot of people do anyway. We're trying to get the comments up um, just to get some engagement going and, and get some good questions going. So Anyway, also, if you're learning something from this channel, and because I am getting more into some specific stuff here lately, um, if you are learning something from this channel and you haven't joined Artist Works or uh, taken a private lesson or some of the things that, um, well, really all the things uh, that are helping me make a living as a working musician, please don't be afraid to hit that tip jug down at the bottom. Uh, Venmo and PayPal, of course, uh, all those um, really kind and generous donations uh, don't hurt. I always make sure I private message everybody uh, when they do that and say thank you. Uh, and if I haven't, let me know. Um, but anyway, thanks a bunch, guys. Here is the very simple lesson I want to show you. And there's more to come on this. But the major scale on one string. Key of G, right? Major scale on one string, the high E string. The point of this lesson is to understand how the different degrees of these scales, the major scale, works in melody and harmony over different chord changes. Just diatonic stuff in the major scale. So if I'm, um, I just got out of the hot shower, so I'm, I'm sweating a little bit here, but, um, and my upstairs air conditioner is not working properly, of course. Thank God it's not August, but uh, just another joy of home ownership is, uh, uh, working on the AC, baby. Uh, you don't want that to go out in the South, trust me. Um, but anyway, so what this is, is this is hearing a simple melody over, and what the single notes don't mean anything unless there's a chord foundation underneath those. And so this is a very brief lesson on just that. And so here's the G, and I'm going to play one to the three. Then I'm going to play the D chord. And I'm going to play um, natural seven, one, and to the two in the G major scale. And then over the E minor, open E, F sharp, and G. And if you want to go down, E, D to C, and then open. But it can just keep going because every note in the chord is a is a connectable melody note, but it has to have uh, um, it has to have uh, some thought behind it, a phrase, uh, some sort of um, some sort of focus and intention and musicality. But that doesn't mean it has to be complicated. So one more time, the notes I'm using. to G, right, if you want to cap that off, but the notes are literally just, those are the notes, right, so um, again, B down to, to G, so that's the third down to the fifth, and that's where it's coming from, this G chord D shape, little A minor triad, and then the G, that's right out of the scale, so, so, that's where that comes from, but anyway, again, G, going up this time, G to the B, D, or could be D7, and you can see, I caught out the notes from the G major scale a minute ago, but if you're playing over the D, that becomes the third, and the fourth, and the fifth of the D major chord, so I'm thinking more in chords and less in scales, but but it is still kind of the G major scale. I know that's a little confusing, but the notes are intertwined, right? So it just it's just because the chord changes. You're not changing keys, but you are changing chords, and that's how the melody sounds the way it does and gives us gives us that property underneath these chords. So again, the chords are G to D, 
E minor, C, and then back to G. But I'm just really concerned about the G, the D, E minor. Or, so I'm just playing the bass note underneath it so you can hear it. You can play the chord. walks right down the scale. You can do it there. Or right down the scale. So G, uh, from C to G. So I want you guys to really, really concentrate on the connectability of the single notes and the chords and the chord shapes. I'm telling you, it is absolutely the number one biggest fundamental connecting these melodies. Here's Here it is up here on this string. So if I play this, the harmony, right? From the D-shaped G chord, the root in the, in the third. Now the D. And then the E minor. sound like anything that doesn't work but if I go okay more on that to come I know that wasn't a very in-depth lesson on that but but that's the idea just trust me play that and listen to the chords behind it and uh, and I think that's gonna start you know it's great for everything ear training visualization uh, the whole nine yards. So more to come on that. Just wanted to get a little quick one out to you um, today. I think it's Wednesday. Like I said, going to do an immersion experience. Check out the links below. I know I'm talking fast because I only have a minute. I don't want to be late uh, up the street. It's a beautiful day. Uh, and uh, we'll be seeing you guys real soon. All right. Cheers a bunch. It's, hey, cheers, you guys. And thanks a bunch for, um, for all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Be nice. Uh, be respectful. And, uh, and that's all we need to do. So love you guys. Thanks a bunch. Uncle Larry Records coming out May 1st. We got some surprises coming up uh, in addition to that. And um, the Chet Record comes out um, April 19th. I'm um, so proud to be on that with Eric Clapton, um, Tommy Emanuel, James Taylor, Allison Krauss, Vince Gill, Ricky Skaggs, Brad Paisley, uh, Brian Sutton. The list uh, goes on, but it's not too long. It's a nice uh, condensed list of about 14, 15 songs. Uh, I'm happy to be on there playing Caravan by myself with a single, you know, my own my own track on there. Couldn't be more proud. Couldn't be more excited. There's a lot of stuff going on. More to come. See you guys soon. Thanks a bunch.